Hello Tiger fans, Emily Dixon here with Coach Brian Kelly for another spring ball update. The Tigers are now five of their 15 practices into spring ball. And Coach Kelly, last time we talked, you said that you wanted the guys to come out here and really let it go and have fun playing football. Have you sensed some of that hesitancy has started to fade away? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I think each day has been a learning experience in terms of, you know, how to practice uh, the way that I need them to practice. So, so there's adjustments, obviously, from, you know, how they've practiced in the past. And so, you know, it's like a different classroom, right? You know, so you're doing things a little bit different. And I think they've adjusted well. There's experiences that are new for them. Uh, but by and large, I think uh, each day has been a great learning experience for them. Out of the gates, you were really pleased with tempo, but also wanted them to focus on that technical and tactical aspects inside of the game. Have you seen progress there now another week through spring ball? Yeah, and I, and I think in particular, uh, I think it's, a, you know, for, for our guys, it's about, you know, we try different tempos of practice. You're gonna tackle sometimes, you're gonna tag them off, and, and just understanding how to practice against each other. Because look, you know, we wanna get better, and so you have to challenge each other um, to that end. And I, I think our guys clearly understand that you can't tackle all the time. You've gotta be able to get better uh, and, and um, you know, not take somebody to the ground. And sometimes that's a learning experience. But um, I, like I said earlier, I, I really like the way that they've adapted each and every day. On the other side of your coaching staff, you put together a staff of guys from across the country, from college, NFL backgrounds. How have you seen all of them align together as a group and grasp the tenets of your program? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I think what they've done more than anything else is um, embraced, um, you know, my philosophy. And, you know, that was part of, you know, obviously the hiring process. Um, you know, we've got a lot of coaches that are familiar with what I've done. And so that's been you know, from a leadership standpoint, um, I think a lot easier because uh, the coaches have obviously had some of that, you know, familiarity. I think more than anything else, um, they're all great teachers, right? Yes, so much. they're out here teaching and, and that's made it for a great transition. One of the ways you're teaching is also through this SWAT program. And some of the guys have already talked about this, how it's promoting teamwork and accountability yeah. within each other. For those at home, can you kind of just give a Cliff's Notes version of what the SWAT teams are? Yeah, they're, it's a way to compete both in the classroom, in our community, and, and on the football field where, you know, they're trying to accumulate um, positive points. Um, you know, we're not missing tutors or, you know, missing class and you're getting positive points for, you know, being in, engaged in our community, uh, whether it's going to a gymnastics meet or a baseball game, um, as well as, you know, what they do here on the football field in the weight room and uh, these teams are competing each and every week and um, you know if players are not holding their end up um, you know their teams are holding them accountable to that end so again building um, you know the traits necessary for them to be successful okay lastly one of the most beloved former Tigers Tyron Matthew was on campus yeah. this week he spoke with the team he did so much stuff with our yeah. creative staff what was your biggest takeaway with having Tyron here and around your staff and program well, first of all, his love uh, for LSU and, and being a local and being from New Orleans, uh, you know, giving back, you know, um, you know, he uh, he certainly uh, had a, uh, a journey while he was here and learned from that journey. Uh, and um, I think I think he's a great lesson for everybody that, um, you know, perseverance and um, his his ability now to, to take that that journey and and help others with it but you know we talked about the fundamentals of life and anytime you can you know give that back to these young guys uh, it, it was a really great story awesome thanks a lot coach thanks appreciate it